And elected leaders were at the State House today to talk about efforts to decrease gun violence. News 19's Cassidy Byer tells us more. This is an issue that is affecting all of us, and we must treat it as such. On Monday, elected officials and three nonprofit organizations, including the South Carolina chapter of Moms Demand Action, held a roundtable event to discuss their concerns over funding needed to support nonprofit groups trying to help solve the growing gun violence problem. The largest dilemma lies in funding the intervention programs, that according to House Representative Jermaine Johnson. And it's not just the funding, but it's the access to the funding. So a lot of times we see the overarching organizations getting the mega millions, getting the dollars, uh, because they have the resources already. Resources to access funding, such as grant writing, is what founder of the grassroots nonprofit Sowing Seeds into the Midlands, Zakia Esper, tells us is the biggest problem for them. And when you have young people who are facing the types of issues that our young people are, it is simply not going to take priority. And so while we know how to do those things, our capacity to manage all of them, as well as the larger, larger organizations, puts us at a great disadvantage. Kristen Moldenhauer and Patty Tuttle of the Moms Demand Action South Carolina chapter use the example of grassroots nonprofit Low Country Youth Services, who no longer have a space to conduct meetings and services for their community. They no longer have the funding to support the services that they're trying to provide to prevent these um, incidents of gun violence in our community. The dire need for funding is why Representative Johnson insists the community must come together and set their egos aside in order to combat the overarching problem. It's time to pick up solutions and talk together, work together, and come up with a way that we can do this. Casty Byer, News 19, WLTX. And elected leaders telling us that local nonprofits mentor and educate teens and young adults on the importance of gun safety and violence prevention.